Hi, in this video, I will show you how GST e-invoicing process works. E-invoicing is a system to generate an electronic document containing transaction information between a buyer and a seller. The invoice registration portal gives an identification number to these electronic invoices increase efficiency in tax administration. By eliminating fake invoice, all the invoices done for a customer whose turnover is more than 20 crores with effect from 1st April 2022 must be, must be uploaded to the portal as per government norms. The invoice registration portal will issue an unique identification number for every invoice called as invoice reference number. To enable this feature, go to tools, open the configuration, search for e-invoice, By default, in e-invoice option, it is set as none. To generate IRN, you can select you can select allow to generate IRN and save it. Now open the GST e-filing. The API username and password need to be generated from GST portal and updated in our TFA portal one time. And here you can see the new menu added as e-invoice and also if you click on more you can see the connect to e-invoice portal. If you click on it, it will direct you to the e-invoice portal with your login credentials you can log in and upload your e-invoice. Generate the IRN for the saved invoice under pending you need to select the invoice and click on generate IRN and click on push to IRP. You can see the message invoice successfully saved. Then you can go to the completed state and see the IRN number generated for that invoice. If you click on invoice number you can also see the item details. To check the failed uploads you need to go to the failed tab and click on the reason. Once you rectify this in your invoice, then you can select the invoice and click on generate IRN and push to IRP. Then it will be moved to the completed state and IRN number also will be generated for that invoice. To auto upload the invoice by saving the sales bill itself, you need to enable this configuration. Once this is enabled and saved, you can able to generate the IRN while saving the bill itself. Then under this completed status, you can able to see the saved invoice and also the IRN number. In some cases, you might not be able to see the checkbox along with the invoices to generate the IRN number. For that, you need to click on the errors and rectify it in the pause. Then if you sync the bill, you can able to generate the IRN. And also we have an option to export the invoice as a JSON format. For that, you need to select the invoice and click on export as JSON and click on download. Then the invoice in the JSON format will be downloaded. Then you can manually upload the JSON to the IRP portal. Thank you for watching this video. If any query, kindly reach us in live chat.